Hi everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let me talk about how to blog websites. Now, this has probably been discussed a fair bit on, on YouTube in the past, but no one tells you where to get the actual files from to block them or IP's address. So I'm going to show you a couple of dump sites where they've got a load of um, host files to actually block these sites. Now we're going to be using the host file to actually block these websites. It's not completely foolproof, people can bypass it. The other option to that is to use something, a filter program like um, NetNanny or something like that. This will actually uh, block and filter a lot of websites, adult sites and stuff like that for kids. I mean if you don't mind paying this is the option you're going to have to go down. It's probably one of the best on the market. You can actually get it in the UK too. Um, I never used it myself but I mean if you don't mind paying then by all means uh, go for this option if you want to, if you don't want to pay and you want to use a simpler option and just use something um, for free I'm going to show you and we use the host file so where is the host file and where does it live well let's go start my computer C drive Windows go to system 32 and then down to drivers and then it lives in ECT and there's your host file now this is not to play pranks on your mates and you know block their internet just for a joke. I'm talking serious stuff where you want to block, you know, virus sites, known sites for viruses and adware, uh, adult sites, anything of that nature. You know, shock sites. You can block all these right in here. Now, obviously, it's pretty handy. So that now we've got this, I'm not going to bother showing you how to block Google or nothing. I just want to show you the actual file what it looks like now now we know where it is where we are all the IP addresses where we can we get them from well the first place I would suggest is www.mvps.org now this file you can download the host file that contains a ton of IP addresses or a ton of websites that have you know been known for adware and, and nasties okay and tracking cookies and all sorts and they will block them out and this is updated pretty regular and this is probably one of the most updated versions about so if you want to have a little look come to this site I want to show you the host file in plain text form so you can actually see it let's sit here this is the sort of file it's the same as what we've had here but now you can see it's got a load of IPs in there Now they're using the option of 127.0.0.1 rather than putting the actual website IP address that's okay it will still do a proper job if you come down you'll see a load of adware sites that they've blocked now this is going to be great stop you getting spyware and stuff like that you know so I put this I will put this on customers computers if they're paranoid about banners and stuff it will block all that sort of stuff nasties it will actually help them in the long run as you can see there's a ton of them there I'm only just scratch the surface but there is a load in there okay so that's okay I'm not sure whether this is covering the adult sites or nothing like that now if you did want to do that if you've got little kids and that's sort of more of the problem and you want to actually block them too then I'm going to show you how to do that now but first before we do that you can actually download the host zip file here you can see it I will put the links up on my, on my site on the actual description so you can just download them from there. You can also run it on Vista which is pretty handy. Now I will run a video on how to install it on Vista and how to do it. But basically this is all the blurb on how to actually get it working on Vista. Okay. Also just a quick one while we're here. This is also pretty handy. It helps you rename, shows you how to rename the host file so on the fly so you can actually make rename it so it doesn't um, sound like a host file so you can actually make it more difficult to find but as long as you don't forget when you know renamed it but there you go that's how to rename it we'll probably do some videos on these as well and also there's another program called host expert which allows you to edit the file now there's a screenshot there I'm not going to install it go through that I've seen videos on YouTube on how to do it we'll get it from funkytoad.com basically this allows you to edit your host file save it, create it, back it up, whatever you want to do, restore it. It's a pretty cool program. Okay, so that's one place 
that's the first place I would go. Now, let's have a little look. There's another site here called hosts-file.net. And if you go here, there is actually a ton of stuff here. If you look, there will be a ton of, oh, sorry, there will be a ton of files here now. I think there's something like 65, some, about 70,000, 70,000 on here of these far of the these IPs and websites that they've banned. There you go, 68,693 hosted lists. So basically, that's pretty much um, pretty good. So I'm not sure about this. I've not used this one. I've used mainly the other one and this other one for adult sites for for people that want to block their kids. Let's have a little look quickly. This will be the ad site that you'll come to. And I'll sure actually go to this part here, in plain text, and go to this adult sites version. Okay, once you download that, this is the file when you download it. It's 20 megs in text format, which is a lot of sites as you can imagine. Go to Notepad, open it up. I'm not going to sort of dwindle on this too much because there's some nasty domain names here with some nasty names. So I'll just go quickly flick through. As you can see, it's pretty slow because there's a ton of text here, but there you go. There's a ton of them there. And this will have shock sites, nasty sites that have got viruses embedded into them and stuff like that. And this will actually block a lot of those sites because you know how, what kids are like. They're, and we'll have a little look and end up getting infected okay so there you go and I'll put that link for them adult sites there so you can block that now obviously these are not foolproof you can bypass these using proxy servers but then kids would have to know how to do that it's a lot of hassle for them to do and it's going to slow down their internet and I think it's a good measure to actually do okay so as I said they're the options now if you wanted to actually change those host files, you know how to change it. I've shown you how to do that. You just have to get this host file and go in here and actually either copy, overwrite it, or go in there and enter all the just copy and paste them straight in if you want. Or you can use that experts uh, program to actually edit and change it all. Okay? You've been listening to Brian from Brightech.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll be making some more videos in the future. Any comments? Please post them up and I'll try and answer, do my best to answer them. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.